MAT is awesome! The MAT, <laughs> multi-axis trainer, simulates a tumble spin. Our astronauts are able to practice regaining control of the spaceship if that were to happen. So, who's up next? Tessa? Um, I kind of have an issue with spinning machines. Translation, she's a barber. That might just be when she gets an eyeful of you, Zach. Ooh, burn. Don't sweat it, Tessa. Yeah, because the MAT doesn't spin more than twice in a row in the same direction, inner ear fluid doesn't shift very much. Meaning, no dizziness. All right, then let's do this. Just take a deep breath, Anne. <sighs> Looks like Professor Cato's research found a dark side to the nanotechnology prototype. Like, doomsday dark. See, even though nanotechnology can really benefit medicine and help to cure diseases, this prototype seems to have the ability to replicate. Like, nonstop. So it could multiply out of control, devour all organic matter, and cause mass destruction. I've read about this. Years ago, some scientists called it the Grey Goose scenario, where these microscopic robots would go unchecked and consume the entire biosphere. English, please? Put it this way. In social media, everyone shares viral memes. It starts with one post, then two people share it, then two of their friends share it, and it continuously grows exponentially. Two, four, eight, 16, 32, you get the math. Anyways, after a matter of hours, it's been shared a million times. These little guys are just like viral memes, except their friends devour everything in their path, turning life on Earth into mush. And if Kato's research gets into the wrong hands... It could be used as a weapon. Before we get too far into this end of the world talk, let's see if anyone else at Space Inc. knows about what Keto found. Starting with Dr. Crawford. Dr. Crawford, I'm Federal Agent DeFazio. This is Agent Feeney. We have some questions about the recent break-in here at Space Inc. And the whereabouts of one of your employees who may be a possible suspect. Certainly. Uh, I'm sorry, but you both seem awfully young to be federal agents. We're a part of the New Youth Government Task Force, ma'am. That's all we could say for now. Feel free to call this number at the Bureau. Should put your mind at ease. Actually, I have a contact there myself. Agent Dale Cooper, if you don't mind. Don't mind at all. Cooper's a good man. Just make it quick. Our nation's security is at risk. I'm sure you understand. Five, 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 seven, seven, four, three. Got it! We're in! And we control the phone line. Voice altering app ready? You're all set! Special Agent Cooper's office. Liking the British accent. You want it official? Everything sounds official in England. Yes. This is Dr. Allison Crawford at Space Inc. I need authorization from Agent Cooper regarding to... Agent Cooper's in a high-level security meeting right now. Wants to confirm Agents DeFazio and Feeney have arrived. They have. I've scanned the leaf for any hidden clues or invisible ink. Nothing! <laughs> and I think I may be allergic. Ooh, Em. You only get your microscope out when it's serious business. What are we looking at? How do you drop this outside the elevator? I think it might be a clue as to what she's up to. One clue? It's a strange thing to find in Maywood Glen. It's a piece of a banana leaf. Unless your sister went out for Guatemalan tamales with ancho chili sauce wrapped in banana leaves, I've got nada. Did y'all know the banana is naturally radioactive because of the potassium content and the teeny amounts of potassium 40? Are you suggesting my sister might be radioactive? Don't fret. <laughs> the levels are insignificant. Not like she's gonna start glowing in the dark. <laughs> Good afternoon, agents. Hoping for a progress report. Well, I did restock the fridge with your cold-pressed green juice. Nicely done. But I was referring to the three T's. Our latest suspect is Elite's lighting engineer. Cameron Breyer on it. And we were just discussing this harmless piece of banana leaf. Same one I noticed on your nightstand, Agent McAllister. Maddie dropped it when we saw her in the hotel. Which I forgot to mention. Sorry. But we did see those banana leaves down at the Maywood Glen docks. Which means your sister might have been down at the docks. The same docks where the three T's are arriving. Your colleagues are raising a very interesting possibility. Which I refuse to believe. 
There's no way Maddie could be involved with the 3T robberies. Is that Agent McAllister talking or a worried sister? I adore them both, but this is definitely worried sister. <laughs> Salud! Well, here's what I think. Maybe Maddie was trying to leave us a clue. Maybe she really is in danger. We're going down to the docks, so whatever the truth is, we're gonna get some answers. Right! Good idea! <laughs> you know what you need to do. And I know you guys are giving me that Michaela's got it all wrong look. <laughs> Don't be you silly! You got it all wrong. Meaning, you've got it all wrong that we think you've got it all wrong. I'm gonna stop talking. I've repurposed my original Cam's cat cam with Cam's catch a criminal cam. You don't know what I had to do to get it off the cat. Now we just have to get it on that grade. Follow my lead. My gosh, I'm so sorry. I told my friend Cam a million times not to ride that thing inside because you never know when someone's gonna take a left when you thought that they were gonna take a right, and then they take that left and you take a right and boom. Uh, don't worry, I'm I'm fine. Okay, bye. <laughs> Camera planted. Now wherever he goes, we go. You guys, we have an unidentified figure entering the building. All right, this could be it. Remember the plan. When our uninvited guest enters the East Corridor, we surround him and move in. Wait for my command. Affirmative. We're with you, Al. You heard the quail. It's critical to the mission we capture the intruder. I've got him on infrared as well. What I can tell you is whoever it is, they're sweating. In this case, it's likely due to nerves, which makes sense because they're about to go to jail. <laughs> We lost picture. What? Why? Not sure. Rai's working on it. I'm rerouting the network paths. They must have timed out. Talk to me. We're back. We have a visual. The intruder is entering sector three. We move now. But the intruder's not in position. Shouldn't we wait? I agree. Hey, I know I'm new here, but I feel like we should stick with the plan. He could be jamming the signal. We can't afford to lose visual on him again. You heard me. Move in. We have to take him. Cousin Misha, ask this last one with some power. He's heading for the exit. Go. Well, I just want to say that I take full responsibility for the failure of tonight's mission. It was my call to deviate from the plan, and I know it led to the intruder's escape. Come on, Michaela, we're all in this together. Yeah, we're a team. While I appreciate your loyalty, it's clear the loss of the suspect rests with the owl's decision to act prematurely. What's important now is that we move on. We can't change the past. Now, I understand a highly classified security code was used to enter Space Inc. That's correct. Our research indicates that only three people knew that specific code. Dr. Allison Crawford, current director of Space Inc. and El Queso Principal, the big cheese of the Biomedical Nanotechnology Project. Professor James Cato, chief engineer of the Nanotechnology Project. And? And my dad, Charles Coyle, Associate Director of the Nanotechnology Division.
but there's no way he's involved in any of this. I've known him like forever. And I'm just saying, he may be a nerd, but he's no thief. Thanks, I think. Tonight was his poker night. He never misses it. He called me from there. Fine. Focus your investigation on Dr. Crawford and Professor Cato. Owl, you'll continue working as a Space Inc. intern. Agents Coyle and Evergreen, your acceptance into the Destination Mars camp allows you an inside presence. Agents DeMarco, Bandwidth, and Adams, you'll try to determine any connection the intruder might have had with someone inside Space Inc. That'll be all. It's okay, Michaela. Yeah, it's not like the guy got away with anything. Don't. Oh, sorry to interrupt. Oh, taste testers! Hurry up and drink this while it's still effervescing and in liquid form. Really think she could help us? Duh. Remember her exploding cream puffs from the science fair? She could whip up anything. I'm calling it AJ's pink drink. Safety first. Careful. I don't want curiosity to kill the can. Hmm. Tastes like chocolate chip cookie dough and a glass of milk. Pass. I just whiten my teeth. It's a secret recipe passed down from my grandma. She's known as the best culinary chemist in Spain. Culinary chemist? That's a thing? Yes, of course it is. Adri, do you want to help us with a top secret investigation? Secret investigation? You mean like, Mission Impossible? Uh, yeah, like Mission Impossible. Oh, I love those movies! When I was little, I used to watch them all the time. I even told my parents I wanted to work for the Centro Nacional de Inteligencia. It's like the CIA in Spain. Know anything about lifting fingerprints? Hmm. $1.5 million, an exorbitant amount of money by any account for a vacation. But the Prince Xander of Canterbury, known throughout social media as the Trillionaire Prince, is another extreme stunt that has him yet again in the international spotlight. It's totally awesome! As the impending launch looms, the Prince appears ever more carefree about the possible mortal danger. Now's our chance. I'm so sorry, I didn't see your petite little feet there. We haven't met! I'm Adrian Adams. Adrian, wanna do lunch sometime? I'm such a foodie. I know all the fanciest places to eat in this town. There's like two, but they're fabulous. guys again. Can't seem to hold on to my supplies around you. Weird, huh? Uh, that's my pen. Uh, you don't want this pen. It got sticky from the sticky ground. But I like sticky things. Sticky glue, sticky notes, sticky rice, sticky tape, sticky sticks. <laughs> uh, so here, take mine. Um, okay. Project Dance. 